Hello and welcome to the Fast Reports Academy. Today we will be looking at the demonstrational application or simply demo of FastCube.net. And we will be recreating the first examples that are presented in it. Let's begin. First example we have is Simple Cube. It's a simple example of how you can process the data with FastCube. Let's look at the source table. We can sort or filter the source data if we want. So data like this can come from, for example, a car owner. We have the items, their amount, category, seller, item price and work price. So let's clear the grid and recreate the configuration we had before. We have a field list over here. And we'll drag and drop the fields from it. Category, seller and item. Notice that I'm dragging the fields to the left side. As you can see, there are hints. Column fields should be moved here and the row fields here. Alternatively, you can do the same thing this way. Drag the fields to create columns and then transpose the table. By the way, if you've made a mistake and dragged the wrong field, you can drag it over here to remove it. And you can move pretty much any field and that will affect the way the data is processed. So, after that we need some measures to be calculated. In the original cube, there were measures for price, amount and work price. Let's add them. Right-click on measures and then add new measure. We want to get a sum of the prices. So we'll call the measure price and its caption will be price2. There's a lot of functions we can apply, but now we need the sum. And the base field should be price. To display the measure, we must move the measures element over here. So here's our first measure. Let's set up the format for it, so the numbers can be read more easily. Right-click properties and display format. The format we need is number. We can keep the locale settings or disable them and set up the format as we want. I'll reduce the amount of decimal digits to 1 for example. Press OK and now we've formatted our measure. Now I'll repeat the same thing two more times. By the way, the format can be set up as you are creating a new measure. And here we have the same example as before. Notice that for some items there's no work price and an empty cell is displayed. This can be changed in the measures properties. Check change now to zero and press OK. And now these cells aren't empty. Let's look at the next examples now. Total positions. So this cube is just as simple as the first one. We have two fields and four measures. By the way, you can rearrange the order of measures in this menu. To create it, we need to drag and drop two column fields and set up the measures. Just like in the previous example. But notice this field in the top left corner. If we remove it or add it back, there are no changes. The hint for this area says move filter fields here. And that means that the fields that are over there will not necessarily be displayed. They will be used for filtering the data. There are filtering capabilities for each dimension, but filter fields are there only for filtering. So, this example is supposed to show you that the totals can be after other fields, before them and also hidden. And here is how that looks. The order of totals can be changed in the context menu. Changing settings for totals affects the grain total, but it actually has separate settings. So regular totals can be for example after and the grand total before. The next example continues with the totals and shows that you can have multiple totals for a dimension. You can add or remove totals this way. Select a row, open its properties and then choose the additional totals. Right now we have maximum and average in addition to the default sum. There are some complicated totals in here and I will cover them in another video. You can also stop the total position in this menu. 
This was today's lesson on FastCube. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments. And be sure to check out other videos on the channel. At this moment, there are playlists for videos about FastCube and FastReport.net, and links are in the description.